If you want it, don't sweat it, homie, go get it. If you're trying and it gets you down, don't let it. Take it from me, man, I've been around, don't sweat it. It's all better when you go for this. If I want something, I'ma go get it. At first, it'd be all struggle, then it's all credit. See, back in the day, getting on was mad. Hey guys, it's Tiffany. I am coming to you from my mom's bathroom. So, <clears throat> we are staying here tonight because, sorry if this is kind of soft too, um, we are staying here and this is the only time I've been able to make a video. I've been so busy, like incredibly, incredibly busy. Um, I, I want to make a surge anniversary um, video kind of talking about my first year and I will um, sometime when I get um, alone time <laughs> that doesn't happen maybe I'll just do that in here and I'll put all these videos in one um, so anyway I think I will do that so I'll first I'll talk about my first year uh, I don't have my stats on me. Ah, uh, in case you're new to my channel, August 2014, I had my first surgery, which was an abdominoplasty to remove a mass from my abdomen. They removed 68 pounds. Some of that, which I did gain back in the stressful, stressful year, less than a year, I guess, that it took for me to... Um, have my uh, sleeve done. Um, I the day of my sleeve, I weighed was four fifty four, I believe, it was four ninety six, I believe, before I had my abdominal plasty, and. Uh, Today I'm like 360s. I rain. I I I totally. Um, I can't get out of the 360s, but I'm in the 360s. So, uh, yeah. So I've I've done pretty good. Um, not as good as I really really would have hoped, but I've done pretty good. Um. Things have been, I mean, the beginning was really, really easy um, for me. And um, it, it never really got hard. It's not hard. It's just, it's time consuming to meal prep and things like that, which, I mean, that's just life. Um, things that I do, like, I don't really measure my weight. And I, at first I did. I was like, ooh, I lost this much. Ooh, I lost that much. And then when I kind of stopped losing <clears throat> so much, it was like, it really was a, a real big uh, mind game with me. Like, am I going to lose this week? Am I going to gain this week? Am I going to stay the same this week? And I stopped 100%. I really don't weigh myself. Occasionally I hop on and I'm like, oh, okay. Like occasionally, like just to keep myself in check. Other than that, I don't weigh myself. I consider um, the things I can do as my success. Before surgery, it was hard taking care of my kids. I mean, it's hard taking care of my kids now. Don't let me fool you, but... It was difficult. It was difficult in a fact that I really couldn't do it. Like it was, it was taking everything out of me to, um, and I'm not looking at the screen and I'm sorry, but it's just frustrating for me today. Anyway, and I think I do that all the time, but whatever. So it's really hard for me to, um, it was really hard for me to, to do daily things. And uh, things like grocery shopping I didn't do, my husband did. I mean, I did clean the house, and I did, like, get the kids ready and all that stuff. Um, 
we didn't go out on dates. We do that now. Um, I didn't leave with just the kids by myself. Maybe one, maybe the oldest one. She could take care of herself. That was it. Um, everything I did was a struggle. And I struggle now. I do. But it's not like that. Um, we, I've been to numerous Cardinal games. Uh, recently, I just went to a Cardinal game with my husband and I sat in the seats. I can't tell you the last time that I've sat like in the regular seats. We usually got uh, um, bleacher seats because I was really nervous about... Um, about fitting in the seat. We rode, I ride the Redbird Express, which I could have never done before because you go, you have to walk a long way to get to the bus, then you get on the bus and you ride, then they let you off like a block down from your entrance and you have to walk. I could have never done that. Um, going by myself to kids programs, couldn't do. Um, I did that this year. I did that this year with the gr little girl I babysit. Um, we, I'm sorry, I was like shaking my leg. Uh, we went and it was at the park and I had to carry the little girl and our chairs and walk through like the grass from the parking lot. Um, I mean, there, I just, there's countless things I can't even, I can't even begin I have a job I have a job I haven't worked in nine years not all because of my weight but in the ending it was because of my weight and I have a job I work at the Y um, I work in the child watch center and um, yeah um, yeah um, I mean, I know there's a lot more and I really wanted to make this video and kind of have notes and reflect, but I think you guys all know what I'm talking about. I think you guys get it. Um, especially those of you that have been there. So, um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, now on to my news. Um, I was waiting and waiting and waiting since, um, April 21st for uh to see what my insurance said about my completion of my ds in case you don't know i i'm having ds surgery and i'm having it i my surgeon wanted to do it in two parts so he did the vsg last june first and um he's going to do the um completion of it um on September 9th so it's still quite a ways away um which is kind of sucky for me because I mean it's good and it's bad it's bad because I have a lot of time to think about all of the things that could go wrong that will go wrong that should go wrong that blah 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 blah, blah. um so that kind of stinks um I've also been like constantly like oh I need to watch more YouTube videos I need to watch more YouTube videos um, I need to get more information, blah, 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 blah. The other thing, the thing that's good about it is my kids will be in school. So my surgery will be on a Friday. We will go on a Thursday, the Thursday before, and stay the night like we usually do, or yeah, we usually do before my surgeries because my surgery center is like three hours away. So we will go there Thursday, we will stay the night, and then my surgery will be Friday morning. And then I'll come home uh, when I come home. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Um, so that means, well, August is going to be crazy because I have to go August 20 something. I have the paper at home. And get um, a bunch of stuff done. I do have to get an EGD this time. I didn't have to get an EGD back then. I have to get a chest x-ray, which I had last time, and blood work and blah, 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 all that other stuff. Um, then I will go have an appointment with my, um, surgeon in August and the end of August. And I will also have, um, 
a nutrition class because I'll do redo a nutrition class since this is totally different surgery, totally different nutrition, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. That's about it. I also have a very, very busy, 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 busy week or summer week. Um, besides working, um, I babysit three days a week. And besides that, uh, my two of my kids have a lot of appointments this summer in St. Louis, so which isn't very far from us, but um, it's still frustrating because we still will be running there like several times this summer. So. That is about it. If you guys have had DS and have any suggestions for me or comments or questions or anything, let me know. And I will try to make some more videos this summer. But it's been really hard um, with the kids home. I don't get a moment of peace. And when I do, like, the video would be worse than this because it would be like, ah, stop. My kids are here now, but they're like all occupied out there because it's kind of late at night, so they're watching TV or on their iPads. And I'm like, I'm going to take a shower, and then I thought I would make this video. So, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you're having a wonderful summer, and uh, be safe, and enjoy your summer. Bye. Oh, I got that one. You're fast.